boys and girls. Thanks for coming again and watching these videos. Parents, sorry I'm a little late on doing it. It's been busy around here and I finally got a couple minutes of quiet time. I wanted to talk to you guys about the research paper. It's one of the hardest parts of the project. I'm sorry. Before I even begin, I want to preface with saying, parents, you can type this up and save a lot of time. Let me flip this over and let's take a look. All right. All right, your research paper starts with, and I sent this handy dandy sheet. I hope they're coming across as um, helpful to you guys. Books, encyclopedias, and I would suggest most of us are going to find our uh, sources off online, which is fine. If you don't have a, pr a printer, my motto is, that's okay. Email them to me and I can print them off here at school for you. Uh, you don't even need to print them off, actually. You could just find the information as you read, write it down, and just be able to cite the source when you are finished. The goal of your research paper is to talk a little bit more about the background about your topic and then tell some specific information that you learned that's ultimately going to help you with coming up with your hypothesis. I've asked for you to write just a paragraph or more. You're gonna see in a minute that mine's pretty long. I'm not expecting students to be this long, but you wanna get your information across. The better the research is, the better chance you have of getting more points on that paper. I talked a lot about, sorry, I guess I could be doing this. You probably wanna see me a little bit more than the paper. I talked a little bit about the Skittle project that we're doing in class. Since I'm doing five different liquids and using Skittles, I decided, hey, let's get some information about Skittles, the history of Skittles, what Skittles are made of, let's get some, what is dissolving, what does that mean, and how are these liquids different? So I went online, I typed those words out, and I came up with a couple articles, and the boys and girls of class helped me to highlight some information. So with that information, here was one of my articles on Skittles. Uh, we just found some important dates of when they were invented and from who and where. I found some information that wasn't relevant. I crossed it off. I told them that they will not have to read every page, every word. Find some information that sticks back out to them. We went through a couple and I also uh, forewarned that you're going to see a lot of big science words. I don't even know how to pronounce a lot of these words and that's okay. I'm gonna find the words that stick out to me and then get help on the words that I cannot pronounce or that I'm not even sure what they mean. I found another one on what makes uh, something dissolve and you need these two things. You need something to be dissolved and you need a liquid for it to be dissolved in. I found about four or five articles. Once again, you can find uh, what works for you. Must be at least three. But then I turned what we highlighted as a class into an actual research paper. I wrote mine down. I will say this took me, to be honest, about 30 to 40 minutes. So we can say that this is something I'm going to recommend that you do a little bit over the amount of time that you have. Uh, here's what I came up with, and once again, I can send pictures of this, maybe as long as I've been holding this here, you have enough time to read it. I give some history about the Skittles and when they were invented. There's a little controversy about how they were even invented by a company or by a person named Mr. Skittles. I uh, talked about how flavors have changed over time and what they're made of. And something cool I thought was that they've changed the recipe to now be vegan form. I found that interesting. I don't know if that has any, uh, any uh, purpose of being in my research paper, but I thought that was interesting. Sorry, I'm trying to take this off. Oh gosh, I'm a terrible videographer. I need, I need to hire somebody for this. You can see my paper's pretty long. I then switch to what's dissolving. My whole project is about Skittles dissolving in different liquids. So I talked about what dissolving is because some children think that melting is dissolving. So this was a good conversation to be had. And just gave some information I found in that article about dissolving is really when a solid can change into a liquid. And those two big words that I told the kiddos, I'm like, I'm not even sure how to pronounce those and if I'm saying them right, but that's okay. I can add them in my research and worry about that later. And then I got into why I chose the different liquids that I chose. And one was because of the color, but then two, I thought it was about the consistency that is going to make up the liquids. I know that vinegar has chemicals, water, I would consider just plain and clear. I've got soda, which is browned and has acidic parts to it and then milk which is creamy and murky so I thought doing those different liquids they look different uh, and so I added some information about that 
um, your child, you, I, and I said that I would tell them because they didn't believe that you guys would believe them. Yes, you can help them type, I said. Type it out for them if it's going to save some time. Try to remember, don't say I or we. This is all research that you're reading about, so it shouldn't be any personal connections or personal thoughts. My suggestion was to look up keywords online about your project. So we, I know we've got candles melting, we have about basketballs, and we have sugars and drinks. Find that information online. All of that information that you're finding is what you can then document in your research paper. If you do decide to print it off at home, I told the kiddos we can glue it in and make it where it's like a foldable. Now, doing the research, you guys are doing really good. I have a lot of parents emailing me and asking questions, so I know you're staying on top of these projects and it makes me so happy to be their science teacher, but we can't forget to do this journal and documenting part. So I even added a part in here and um, a couple of my students are following my lead here with talking to me. We're going over and in class, you decided on some things. But I even added here. My parents and I went online today to find articles that could provide research for my project. We printed out research from at least three different sites. I went through each one and highlighted information that I'll use on, to write my research paper. That's exactly what we did in class. Here's the part, parents, you're gonna love it. Writing my research paper is harder than I thought. It's a good thing my dad knows how to type fast. I took the information from my articles and I wrote all about my topic. So keywords, dad, if you're helping out with projects, way to go. I hear a lot of dads, moms, let's show up, show them how to do it. And then I continued working on the research paper. It's taking time, I'm working on it piece by piece and it's okay to document that it's taking you a couple days to do this. And here, I finally finished my research paper tonight, yay. I also wrote my hypothesis down and then maybe mentioning what your hypothesis is and based off your research, why you're choosing that hypothesis. Speaking of hypothesis and hypotheses, it's your educated guess. Remember, it doesn't have to be right, but make it based off your research. So for me, I learned that in vinegar, one of the liquids we're going to use, tons of acid. I, I, they had numbers, I couldn't even keep up with all of it. I'm thinking that that's gonna do something different to the Skittles than the milk or the water would. So in my hypothesis, did I write it down? I don't think I wrote it down yet. I'm gonna tear off my hypothesis sticker, I'm gonna put it in my notebook, and I'm going to write it using if, and then, so on that sheet that I gave you, I even gave you an example of how I was going to word it. So your hypothesis is going to follow this as a guide, and I put, if I soak my Skittles in water, vinegar, no, excuse me, vinegar, water, milk, and Coke, there's gotta be another liquid I must have forgotten, to measure which Skittle dissolves the fastest, then, so that if then cause and effect, the Skittle and vinegar, vinegar will dissolve the fastest because vinegar has acids that will speed up the dissolving process. I could be totally wrong, but we're gonna find out next week when we actually go ahead and do the project. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your weekend. Do some of those science projects, and I look forward to hearing about them and seeing you all on Monday. Have a great weekend.